All right, a slow start for a mobile bartending business. How do you turn it around and get more events booked and start to gain some momentum with the business? So Amanda asked, I'm finally up and running and I've posted on social media a few times. My friends and family have shared the posts. I'm offering a 20% off discount for the month of August, but still no luck. Any advice on how to gain some leads? I'm starting to doubt myself and don't want to feel that way. So some good comments down here below. It looks like Amy was talking about, hey, this is not going to happen overnight. Start joining some directories, get your free business profile set up. Just start to post some behind the scenes stuff on social media and just start to get the name out there. That's definitely not going to happen overnight. Some other comments are saying, join every buy and sell on Facebook groups, community forums, I agree with that. Join all the wedding forums that are local, all the buy and sell groups, and just start to manually get your name out there if that's one of the avenues that you want to take. Um, some other people are talking about offering a big discount or a bigger discount for three bookings coming up. It's important not to offer like a huge discount for an event that's coming up next year, though. That's one of the mistakes that we made. As we said, the next five or six, we're going to give this big discount to and I think we booked one early in the year for October, and by that point, we were starting to really hum with the business. And then we had this random event that, that was like at cost, and it was we were kind of pissed that we took a handful of those that were later in the year. Let's break it down very simply. I like to break it down into two very simple buckets of the sales funnel. So awareness is just getting eyeballs on the business. It could be everything that we mentioned in the, the comments here on that Facebook post. It could be social media could be the manual stuff in the Facebook groups, running ads, the Google business profile, doing some SEO, Google ads, expos. You can go to the wedding expos. You can uh, reach out to vendors. It's uh, There's a lot. There's directories. There's Bark, Thumbtack, Gig Salad, The Knot. So just adding some of those to your toolbox. Yes, you can add as many as, as you like. Um, and then the second bucket here that I like to put it into is conversion. So once you're getting the eyeballs, What's going on when the eyeballs are hitting either your website or the the page that you're the profile you built in the directory? So people click on you in the knot or in thumbtack. What is going on when they see your information or what is going on anywhere where you are taking those actual leads? The conversion part of this is something that is very often overlooked because what a lot of mobile bars will do is they'll spread themselves all over the place and they'll be getting eyeballs landing on their website and they won't see a lot of success with people that are turning into inquiries or leads. They start doing more of that other work. They start to see a couple bites. Maybe they start to book a couple events and they may have a very mediocre conversion process. So in the future, as their business really builds and starts to gain more success, they have a very mediocre conversion process and it's just going to take them a lot more money and time to keep getting more and more awareness for a low conversion rate when you can fix that right away. So let's cover those, basically that aspect. Before I get into that, check out the Mobile Bar Hub, Sales Mastermind and Marketing Mastermind. It's all inside the membership. It's less than the cost of a cup of coffee per day. Go and check that out. It's a great group, 150 members. Get all these modules right now, and it's not going to be that way forever. So go take advantage of that. So simplifying this even more let's pretend like a mobile bar or bartending business is a guy who's trying to get married and he doesn't have too much experience dating he's a little bit older so we need to figure out how to get him some awareness which is more opportunities to go on dates to turn those people into actual dates and turn them into an actual marriage so what can we do we can join clubs paint nights you got your co-ed sports teams you can join some spin classes. That's not what we're going to focus on now, but there's a million things that we could offer up to him that are going to get him more opportunities to go on dates. Conversions are looking the part. So wear the best clothes possible, be well-kept, have a good hairstyle or good shoes. You could having social proof. So having friends around him that are saying, yeah, this is a good person. He's a really good time we can confirm that he's not the creepy guy at the end of the bar that is a big mistake to hang out with, aka Ted Bundy. You don't want to be the Ted Bundy of mobile bars. And a lot of people don't think that the emotional side of sales is applicable to like a relationship or dating, but it is so similar the way that buyers actually operate and the way that they carry themselves. We also want him to ask questions that shows like, hey, I'm considerate. I understand where you're coming from. 
and it just understands how to communicate and understands what the woman want in a relationship and then is not desperate. So it doesn't come off as desperate with the way that he responds and is just dumping a lot of information on people. So that's what we need to take care of first is just this conversion with your mobile bar. What is happening? What is happening when you're actually getting those opportunities or the eyeballs onto your business? So awareness, social media ads, Facebook groups, directories, SEO, Google ads, expos, all that stuff. It's really important to note I'll use Facebook ads as a really good example is if you're in the membership and you watch those videos, they're very short and you learn how to do Facebook ads and you put in five to 10 hours of actually making the ads, testing a bunch out, throwing some money, maybe a couple hundred bucks per month at these ads. It's impossible for you not to make money if you put in the time into the awareness channels and really go deeper. So that's a huge piece of advice that I have is early stage businesses will get to like month four, five, and six. They've been taking a lot of advice of seeing SEO works, Facebook ads work, social media, do the expos, do all these different things. And they're very mediocre at all of them. If you go hard on social media or if you go hard on Facebook ads, just one of those channels is going to make you a ton of money if you do them well. Before we start to expand and even when you start getting more successful, we want to make sure that those foundations are actually there. So when you're getting more and more opportunities that the rate of return, you're maximizing your ad spend or your social media time that you're spending on those channels. So just getting really good pictures right away is very important. There's a lot of businesses across the board that will just have a lot of stock photos. There's no personality to the business. They're not memorable. It, it doesn't take much. You don't need professional photos right now. Just do the best that you can right now. So this week, go set up your bar in your backyard. Invite a couple friends over. If your friends aren't available, set up a couple cocktails. Put your phone on a box and set the timer. Smile and show yourself pouring a, a drink. Take four of those photos and put them on a, a one-page website. Also on your website, another thing that I left off this, this list here is you need to have a clear call to action on your website itself. So if somebody is interested, is it confusing on where to go? See people have in their menu, it'll just say contact us. And there's people that will be interested but not interested enough to fill that out and put an open-ended answer into that box. When people are on your site, there needs to be get a quote or inquiries at the top of the menu so they can click on it and convert. And then also keeping those pages really simple and the reviews from friends. You can start there, but getting testimonials is really important. Again, don't want to be the Ted Bundy of mobile bars. Social proof is very impactful. If somebody wants to book a mobile bartender, they don't want to look stupid. They don't want to roll the dice on a mobile bar that hasn't been around or is not experienced. I hear horror stories of this all the time from mobile bars, but also just at weddings and it could be caterers. We had this event where the person didn't even know how to back the big food truck up. You want to avoid sending that signal. So look the part, have a clean website, nice images. You definitely want to start to build up some reviews. If you're really struggling, you can also do some free events or at cost events and just say your payment is to submit reviews. And I'll give some gift cards to some of the guests if they can take care of that. And just have a simple strategy for how you're going to be taking those leads on the site. What are you doing to follow up with those people? What is your sales process? Again, we cover all that in the Sales and Marketing Mastermind. We really dumb it down on some of the most important things that you need to lay down in terms of your foundations. And then finally, you're talking to the customer. You're not going deep into all your pricing packages all the, the details of what you offer, how you get there, what cups you use. People care about just the big picture experience on uh, what they're getting from the mobile bar. Talk about the experience, show them in images, show them in pictures, show them with social proof. And when you don't have, those are the things that you need to go out and get. Because when you move into the awareness channels and start to spend more time and money, you wanna make sure you're getting the most out of either those marketing dollars or the time that you're putting in to those channels. Again, check out the Mobile Bar Hub Sales and Marketing Mastermind. It's really gonna help everybody who is looking for more leads and events scale that process and make it happen a lot faster. So go check it out and we'll see you in the next podcast.